Well, everybody, Allah, this is Nate with ModsByNazy.com. Uh, today we're going to do a little uh, tutorial on how to solder some 3D printed trays. A lot of people have said that they go to so they don't like 3D print trays because when they go to solder them, the contacts melt through the tray. Uh, they melt the tray, you know, blah blah blah. I don't have this issue. Uh, I never have. Uh, Today, you know, of course, we're going to need a soldering iron. Uh, I'm using a Weller. Uh, this, this right here is my one of my, my pen for my soldering iron. This is a Weller uh, WSP 120, 24 uh, volt, 120 watt pen. Uh, way overkill for what we're using. Way overkill. Uh, we're going to need a Dremel. Uh, nice little small bit on the end, just to scuff the. Uh, the contacts, you're going to need some uh, rosin flux, some kind of flux, period. This flux right here that I'm using from MG Chemicals, uh, this is really good. I love it. It's liquid flux. I put it in a uh, small dripper bottle like this, and uh, I use that to just put a little drop of uh, flux on what I need or rosin on what I need. You're going to need a tray, some contacts, and some, some wires. Uh, I'm going to use two different wires here. Um, put the contacts on, of course. Hopefully you know how to put contacts on. We'll just go ahead and put these on real quick. Uh, get all these contacts on here. Just slide these contacts right on here. Sometimes they can be a little tight, so it takes a little bit of finger power. I've already scuffed these contacts here. I scuffed this one. We're going to go ahead and scuff this contact right here. Uh, be a little loud. That's all you need. Bam, it's scuffed. Uh, all you're doing is scuffing it up just a little bit. That's really all you got to do. Uh, it doesn't have to be nothing extreme or anything like that. Uh, for this end here, all we're going to do is just... Uh, we're just going to solder this pretty much a battery strap here for a series tray. Again, you know, just need a little drop on each, on each end here. Just a little drop of flux on each end. I'm going to heat my uh, soldering iron up to about 550 Fahrenheit. Uh, the solder I'm using is a 6040 solder. This is a, let me go ahead and get it out. This is a 6040 Kester solder. So that's Kester. Uh, very good, no clean solder. Uh, you don't have to clean up after it. It is not corrosive. I don't re recommend using you know corrosive solder on anything like this unless you're going to clean it up. Uh, it does tend to eat it stuff. So, take our solder here, heat it up a little bit, heat up the contact area a little bit, feed the solder in, and bam, done. Take it, heat it up a little bit, get it in there, move around, hold it there for a second, done. Uh, as you can see, the contacts sunk in where they're supposed to sink in, where they got little teeth. Uh, did not melt through the tray. Did not do anything. They're ready to go. They're on there. They are hot. And it is 550 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, again, we'll take in uh, latest here. Uh, when I'm doing a lot of my wire like this, I will actually, sometimes I will pretend the wire. If not, I'll put a little bit of extra flux on the wire to soak through the wire and on the contact. That way it pulls it into the wire also while it uh, while it takes and uh, solders to the contact itself. Take and speed up a little bit of solder here. Heat it up. Fill it in a little bit. Bam, done. Uh, as you can see, it is not melting through the sled. It is not doing anything. It's melting the contact teeth into the sled. It's countersinking the teeth into the sled of the contact. The contact is not melted into the sled. I can actually take a flathead screwdriver and I can pop the contact off if I need to. Just pop right off and slide it on off. All you gotta do is slide a flathead screwdriver up underneath there and pop it off. You can solder these off the sled and put them on. That's very doable. I solder all my contacts on the sled 90% of the time and I don't have any issues. Uh, it's, it's on there. This is not coming off. That Wire's not coming off of there. That's it's it's on there. Soldered on there, good. 
uh, well, that's how you solder a 3D printed tray right there. Uh, just show everybody how to do it and help them out, you know. Uh, hopefully this helped you and, uh, and whatnot. Uh, a few things that I would recommend is I would uh, not recommend using, you know, like a Walmart cheap soldering iron, just like a regular cheap soldering iron. Uh, they do get up to quite hot. They get up quite hot. Uh, some of them can reach. I've had a couple of them that would reach temperatures of 800 Fahrenheit, 900 Fahrenheit. Uh, something like that will melt the contact through the sled. Uh, you want to solder at lower heats, you know, right around 500, 550, you know, right in there. Uh, anything much higher than that will melt the contact through the sled. Uh, you got to remember this is ABS. ABS, you know, can melt. Uh, so that's pretty much it, everybody. If you got any questions, post them in comments below, and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you much. Have a nice day.